Hello and welcome to the another tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a subdomain for your WordPress website. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You will get many valuable stuff from this channel. Subdomain function as an extension of registered domain, allowing you to send visitors to different web addresses. Please follow the following step, log into your cPanel dashboard and then search the subdomain section. Uh, you can see here we have a subdomain section. Now uh, you can write anything here like uh, blog, store or portfolio, anything uh, you want to add before your main domain. Here you can see our document route uh, that will uh, be the link of our uh, subdomain I created portfolio dot digital dot com. Now click on create option. Okay, our portfolio dot digital dot com subdomain has been created. In next step, we can see our subdomains here. In next step, we will install WordPress on the subdomain. Okay, go to your wordpress.org website and download the latest WordPress uh, which is currently 5.3.2 Okay, save it to your local computer Please wait for a few seconds until the file downloaded Now open the file manager of our subdomain and upload the WordPress file by drag and drop option or you can also select the file. Wait for a few seconds. Our zip file is uploading on the portfolio subdomain. I want to mention that my main domain is codigital.com and uh, i have created multiple subdomain you can see here okay here in file manager you can see wordpress file is downloaded which we uploaded on our file manager now extracted file to the file manager folder okay here we have a wordpress folder now delete this zip file because we don't need it anymore. Open the folder and extract it to the, our main file directory. Select all the files and now move, click on move and to the main folder. Here, all of our WordPress files are moved to the main folder. Now, delete this empty folder. Okay, our next step is to create databases. For this, go to your cPanel dashboard and search database in the search bar. Here MySQL database. Now click on this option and create a new database. Please do remember one thing: note down all of these domain subdomain names and credentials on your Notepad. Okay, our database name is portfolio. You can change it accordingly. Okay, now I'm creating database. Our database has been created. Okay, copy the database name, DB name, 
and paste it to your notepad file. Go back to the database and you can see all of your databases which you created earlier. You can see my databases and the recently which I created for subdomain website. In fourth step, we will add this database user. For this purpose, you can see the MySQL user section. Okay, so I will. You can add any name. I will add portfolio. The same for uh, database. So I can remember it easily. And now paste the password. A very strong password. It will show below. In most of the cPanel, it will give you a suggestion to change the password. Now paste the database name and password in your notepad file which we use in last okay user is added to databases select our recent portfolio user and select the database we created you can see the same Okay, now add these two databases. Click on all privileges and then make changes. Here we go. Our subdomain is almost ready with install WordPress. Now, now go to your subdomain again. And open the file manager. Here we have an option WP configuration sample PHP. We have to edit this file. Okay, here paste the DB username from your notepad file. and the password which you set for your database user save changes now visit your subdomain again Okay, WordPress is about to install. Click your language. Choose the website's high title. Code digital. Sultan, you can write anything which you want to show on your site title. If for good password, uh, they will send the credentials to your email. Now install WordPress. Okay, WordPress is installed. Enter the username and password. Here we go. The dashboard of our subdomain. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on bell icon. You will get many valuable stuff from this channel.